Okay, in this video, we're going to look at Mefin Evan. What in the world is Mefin Evan? Mefin Evan is a chatbot autoresponder for your personal Facebook profile. You've heard of some of the ones that are out there for your business pages. There's many chat. There's Chat Fuel. There's Chatmatic. There's Clever Messenger. There are all kinds of them, and they all work on your business pages. This one works on your personal profile, so it's very unique. All right, we're going to take a look at it. What does Mefin Evan stand for? It stands for message fucking everyone, okay? So let's see how we can do that. All right, the first thing we need to do, after you've ordered it from us and you've been given your username and password, you want to come to the Chrome store and hit Add to Chrome. What this is going to do, it'll tell you what it can do. Make sure you approve it, Add Extension. Once it's added, you'll get a little message here. And you'll see the icon, but it'll disappear as soon as you close that. So click this little icon there, and these are usually alphabetical. And go to Mef and Evan and click the little pin, and it'll pin the icon up here. Now, when you go there, the first thing you want to do is make sure you're on your personal Facebook profile. Okay? And click the icon and log in with whatever email you registered with and whatever passcode you were sent to sign up. Now, what you're going to notice is up here on the left, there are going to be a few tabs that open up, okay? Do not close those. See, Meph and Evan is using this tab. Don't close it. And one of them is going to be mobile, and then you'll see a third one occasionally. So uh, now that we're logged in, and if you're on the wrong page, if you're not on Facebook, it'll tell you to go to Facebook. You can turn Meph and Evan on and off right there. And we have a couple of things. We're not going to look at message settings in this video. We're going to look at response settings for autoresponder and default message. What a default message is, and I'll go ahead and add one, but you won't see it right away, and it can be a text message or it can be a message group, which is from these message settings. You can create segments and groups, and all that does is randomizes the message that goes out. It, it takes some of what you said and says, let's take a piece of this and a piece of this and a piece of this, kind of like a, a spin text, so that your default message that's going out to everyone is not always the same. I'll show that in a training video but for now, we can just show the text version of the response. And we can make this window a little bigger. And this is just going to be something that uh, is just a default. Let's say you're sleeping, you're out of the office, you're busy doing something else. They haven't given any keyword that needs to be responded to. This is default. And they can just say, sorry, I am in the middle of something right now, but we'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, that's an example of a default message. All right, you can insert their first name so we could say sorry, first name. Put a comma there. You can put last name, you can put today's date. We'll just leave it at that. We can make this happen immediate or we can set it for a little bit down the road, an hour, two hours, whatever we want. And I'll save that message. Well done. Awesome, you successfully updated. So we have <clears throat> a default message. Now I'm not gonna show you that in this video because it'll take an hour to show up. But what we will do is we'll build an autoresponder and I'll show you how this works. So I don't have any in this account, okay? <clears throat> We're gonna create one. Um, I have, uh, let's say somebody says thank you. We'll just put an easy one there. Somebody says uh, thank you. I'll just call this uh, thanks. That's just the title I'm giving it. And if someone types in the words thanks, uh, thank you. Actually, I think that's probably good enough. Thanks or thank you. We want to send them a message. And again, you can send them a, a static message every time, or you can vary it up a little bit by using the message groups. I recommend the message groups. They just take a little longer to set up. That's all. And then let's say when they say something like, thank you, let's just say you are very welcome. And then we'll put in their first name. And I'll put a period at the end. Okay, we'll save that autoresponder. Okay, so now when we go to these response settings, we have an autoresponder. You see, I can turn that autoresponder off, which means it's there. I don't have to recreate it, but I'm not using it now. And you can turn it on, you can edit it, or you can delete it. All right? So now, I'm going to go over to my wife's computer, which is sitting next to me, and I'm going to type, thanks. And I'm going to hit send. Okay? And what you'll see is, we go to the messages here. There she is. Just sent thanks. You are very welcome, Margaret. Okay? That's wonderful. So so I didn't type that, right? <laughs> I didn't do that. That was Meph and Evan 
sending that. You are very welcome, Margaret. All right, let's create a new one. Okay, let's do one for, uh, let's do special deal, okay? Special deal. And we'll do the keyword special deal. And we'll do special deals. Let's say I have a thing out there and I've told people, hey, if you want some information on a promotion I'm doing, um, just message me the word special deal. Now, I can be away. I can go somewhere. I can you know, be on vacation for all that matters. And uh, if somebody messages me special deal or special deals, or maybe we want to use hashtag special deal, okay? Now I want to send them a message. We can say something like, hey, great. Thanks for asking about, maybe we're doing it for this week, right? This week's special deal. I am offering, you know, blah, 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 whatever you want to, whatever you want to put in there, okay? Um, for only, you know, one gazillion dollars. I don't know how to spell gazillion. It's probably not even a word. Um, click here, you know, and then you just give a link or whatever, okay? I'll just put a link there. Probably two L's and gazillion. Look at that. It is a word. All right, so, um, and I won't use any, any uh, tags in there. We'll just add it. So now I'm going to go over to my wife's computer, and you'll be able to see it. Let me get that, rid of this here. You'll be able to see it live right here in the chat area. Special deal. See, I'm typing on her computer. You can see that, right? So here it comes, special deal. And it'll take it just a second. Hey, great, thanks for asking. And there it is. Boom. Done. Look at that. That's fantastic. And you can put as many of these in there as you want, okay? Uh, you can have all kinds of different keywords. If you're selling software like I do, you could have the keyword software and it could say, your response could say something like, hey, thanks for asking about software. Yes, we have lots of it available. Here's a link for all of it. You could, you know, if you're a, a restaurant, you might have something in there where people can message you about your menu or about, you know, you could put a link in there. If you're a barber, you could put something about, you know, how do I book an appointment with you? So if it says appointment, you know, you can just send them a link back that goes to your booking calendar, your appointment calendar on your website, or if you're first come, first serve, hey, just stop in, here's our address, anything like that. So this is really fantastic. So you've got your default message, which is if they have no keywords, and your autoresponder is going to be if uh, they have one of the keywords that you've set. And you can set all kinds of keywords here. And you can also use a spin text on this so that they're not always exactly the same. That'll help keep you out of trouble with Facebook a little bit. And, it, you know, it's nice to vary it up in case they come back with the same keyword later. Now, we are going to expand the software. It's going to be expanded and grow and become really <laughs> uh, much more uh, powerful. Uh, some of the things we've got coming up, we're going to have tags where if somebody <clears throat> messages in something, you can tag them a particular tag. We're going to do broadcasts where you can send a broadcast to a group of people. That's going to be super powerful. And we're going to have follow-up sequences like an autoresponder campaign. So that if they send a keyword, you know, they get this response now, they get another response in an hour, they get another one tomorrow, they get another one in two weeks, you know, whatever that might be, you can do actual campaigns in there. So we're going to watch this grow. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you have any questions, please let us know. And uh, otherwise, there'll be a link on whatever page you're watching this video. Go sign up, grab this great software. Uh, we are priced for beta right now. Uh, once we add some of these other features and we've got you know, made sure everything's all, you know, wonderful and, and, and filled out, the price is going to rise exponentially. So take advantage of the low cost now while we're growing and start using this and saving yourself a whole lot of uh, time and effort and get extra business. All right, take care.